Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium, and it's 2023. Happy New Year, everybody! Did you have a resolution? Cool. Same. That's also mine. Today, uh, <laughs> it's a new year. And 5-Minute Crafts has gotten worse. For those who aren't familiar, 5-Minute Crafts is a big old content farm, almost as big as, as they can really be. It's run by a company called The Soul Publishing, and they have a billion bajillion channels, and they make lots and lots of views and money. Normally, 5-Minute Crafts kind of sticks to inoffensive but terrible life hacks. I say inoffensive as someone who's made videos about them for going on five years. Is it five years? Yeah, I think my first 5-Minute Crafts video was 2018, so... We're all inching <laughs> ever closer to death. But 5-Minute Crafts wants the smoke. <laughs> they want the smoke in the kitchen. They say smoke in the kitchen's a bad thing. 5-Minute Crafts says, hold my glue gun. And 5-Minute <laughs> and Crafts has decided to get into the weird food content as well. And so... <laughs> uh. We're really just getting right into it. Five Minute Crafts tweeted this from their official, very official account. So official it's got a gold check mark. We need one of those for this channel. And it's titled, This girl chose a very strange way to cook a pizza. And it starts with her uh, flowering her butt. <laughs> she, she flowers her butt and then she sits on the dough. It's like they always say in the kitchen, uh, Keep that ass fat to keep that dough flat. That's what my that's what my chef always told me. Yes, chef. All right, and now we have a foam roller here, and uh, it appears what what she's trying to do is like kind of turn her whole body into uh, a rolling pin, so that once again we can flatten the dough. I love that Five Minute Crafts isn't even trying to hide behind this actually being a hack. Their caption is essentially, well, that's weird. Here's some weird shit we did. She is destroying this dough. It looks like a tractor is rolling over the dough. Why didn't she just choose a foam roller that was like round all the way around? You know, there's more issues than just this, but maybe put on a hairnet. Don't want any hair in my ass pizza. All right, now she has a bowl of tomatoes and I assume she's going to squash them around like she's making wine. <laughs> I don't know why you would need to do this, but I do think that it's entirely so that they can make a tomatoes pun. Get it? Because toes, like the ones on her feet, if they don't make the pun, um, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> but real quick, if you want some food that's actually made with care, you should check out today's sponsor, Factor. It's a new year and let Factor help you with achieving your nutrition goals. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, and dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Factor meals also help me with my time management goals by cutting down trips to the grocery store, meal prep time, and cleanup as well. Factor meals are ready to eat in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Factor has also been essential in cutting out my eating out expenses and my ugh, delivery expenses, which is too much. No matter your lifestyle, Factor has the meals for you with keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and protein plus options on the menu each week. With 34 chef prepared nutritious weekly meals, there's always something new to try. Plus you can round out your meals and replenish your snack supply with the 36 plus quick bites, snacks, juices, smoothies, and more options as well. It's also super flexible. You can make your weekly orders bigger or smaller and skip a week if you need to. This week, some of my options included the shredded chicken taco bowl and the stuffed pepper casserole, but my personal favorite is the shrimp zucchini alfredo with broccoli. Mm. Head over to factor75.com or click the link in the description and use promo code Jarvis60 to get 60% off your first factor box. And thanks again to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Okay, bye. These are like cherry tomatoes, right? In my experience, cherry tomatoes are pretty firm. I'm not confident that I could really puree or smush these tomatoes with just my bare feet. She really needs to get in there. She's gotta like use the nail to like puncture them and stuff. God, it's so nasty. This is so nasty, but I'm pretty sure this is like, this is like a thing. People are into this, right? We're all into it. We're all enjoying ourselves. We all love this. 
Oh, okay, the convenient cut <laughs> to three hours later. Some of those fuckers are like diced. <laughs> How did she do that with her feet? <laughs> those tomatoes have been cubed. Oh no! I'm, I'm human, okay? I, I know they're trying to do this on purpose, but it's still nasty. Oh, right. She was making a pizza. That's certainly a weird way to make a pizza. Okay. Um, I love thinking about the circumstances under which you would actually do one of the five minute crafts. And this is interesting because it's a situation where you have no actual kitchen utensils. You'd have a foam roller. That's pretty much the only piece of equipment we've seen. She can't like spoon around the, the the pizza sauce she's got to spread it with her hands she's managed to get this very circular and perfect so she must be a pro so this is for sure someone's specific uh niche desire let's say i don't even know if i can say the name but i'm pretty sure it has a name i'm gonna shame this lady <laughs> you nasty <laughs> all right but if you're into it whatever but you gotta knee the cheese knee cheese Friedrich knee cheese <laughs> much to think about <laughs> is it problematic for me to say that i'd still eat the pizza i think I, it's more about me having a weak spot for pizza than anything else i would eat the knee cheese i would eat the the feet sauce <laughs> and i would devour the butt dough so, I don't know, that just says something about me, I think. Why? That one made me mad. First of all, that plant didn't even look real. I thought that was a fake ass plant. I don't understand why she had to grab it with her mouth. She has two hands. I mean, we know, I know. The answer to all these questions, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know why, we know why. It's mine. Yo, hang on. Shut the fuck up, dude. What is that? That's pretty transparent, right? She pulled the pepper out of her bra that's just like loosely sitting there. So they clearly added it, you know, two seconds before they recorded. And then she sensually shook it up like a penis, dude. Why is she looking at us like that? Stop at once. Yeah, I'd probably still eat it. I feel like the most normal part of this so far has been ma making the crust. And so I'm, now I'm trying to see if I, there's anything I'm missing. Is this supposed to be sexy? Sound off in the comments if this is your thing <laughs> or don't. Is this video gonna get demonetized? I feel like we're doing a good job talking around things. Ew. That's not the same pizza. There was a totally different pizza in the oven. This is a different pizza. Probably so that they could get this shot because no way in hell were you gonna get that with the, with the previous the previous margarita pizza. That looks so much worse than the other pizza too. She made the other pizza with her feet. <laughs> Did they order from like the pizza restaurant that like undid Andrew Tate? Dude, Nietzsche's pizza would never look this nasty. Ew, even the way she eats it is like sensual, but bad. Like sensual, but like nasty. Like, ew. So now it's just people like enjoying pizza. <laughs> like the last fifth of the video is just people enjoying slices of pizza, which is kind of a thing that we can all really relate to. Um, at least I can. I do love pizza. I would even eat this pizza. I really don't discriminate when it comes to pizza. I started out young eating weird square pizza at my local elementary school and now, and now I'm eating Nietzsche's. I mean, this one had everything. It had, it really just like ran the whole, the whole gamut, right? Like it had butt, it had like sitting, it had feet, um, knees, it had this guy. <laughs> Ew! Did she just pour an egg into a portable speaker? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know if the music is gonna get claimed, but like whenever I'm watching these videos, I feel like it's 2 a.m. I'm drunk at a at a dance club in Dusseldorf <laughs> or something. Both of these hacks are wrong. <laughs> her friend is like, hold on, you don't put your ketchup in your hand? <laughs> what do you mean? She's never seen this innovation in her life. And then this girl's like, I, I tear the entire <laughs> ketchup across the side. When I want to do this, I just tear the little thing and I just like put a little bit on. I just put a little bit on each fry. Go, boop. And it's, it's good, it's easy, it's clean. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't you hate when you hulk out and you just completely destroy the egg you're trying to break? I don't know about that one. <laughs> okay, you got way more chips out of there. You were making six chips, dude. <laughs> like, don't even front. That is not enough chips. You, they literally just poured a bag of Lay's into, into this oil. Okay, so this is taking a turn. There is a five minute crafts video, and this also has been uploaded in 2023. So they are clearly shifting their strategy. And it's working in that it is generating outrage. And I'm a part of the problem. I am very nervous about this one that starts in memory of beloved dog. That's very sad. This is strange, I would say. It's, I guess, it's Jake's brand new collar, never worn. Even pictured here, he wasn't wearing it. <laughs> I guess, because <laughs> he never wanted to put it on, that Jake. Never wore his collar, still brand new. And they've labeled J they've labeled his ashes with the uh, the urn of Jake. How could this get worse, you, want, you ask? Oh, well, you take the ashes, of course, and you do something with them. No shot. No way are they doing crafts with their dog's ashes, dude. Black clay water. Dude, this is... Honestly, go ahead and do five minute crafts with my ashes when I die. <laughs> Make me into something nice. Put me into a put me into a feet pizza. Turn me into I don't know whatever you whatever you so desire. What? What? Okay, so they made little thin strips and then they're baked of clay with the dog's ashes in them. Those are not the same. Those are perfectly straight. These are like not straight, dude. They're turning the dog into pencils? That doesn't maintain the memory of the dog at all. It's literally a usable item. In what way does that honor the dog's legacy? <laughs> the dog didn't write things down. <laughs> I just can't imagine how you arrived at pencils. Gotta hang your pencils out to dry. Oh, you gotta paint him. That was Jake's favorite color, it was blue. That's why his collar was red, which he hated. <laughs> he hated the collar, but it was his. Jake loved to, he loved to write with pencils. <laughs> he was the most talented dog in the land. God, this is so sad. I am making all these jokes because they did not kill a dog for this five minute crafts video. This is all, a, you know, this is meant to produce outrage. Wait a second, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They, their, their sketch was the most pathetic, like, sketchings ever. It like barely makes a mark. And then now it's like a very detailed thing. So you're making art with Jake, of Jake. It's like alchemy, if you think about it. I guess if, you, if you're like a photorealistic <laughs> dog artist, then maybe this makes sense. But the fact that you have four other Jake pencils is <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's where I'm going to call it. Cause that's what Jake would have wanted. Shout out to Jake. Shout out to the butt pizza. Shout out to you, my premium viewers for hanging out with me while we uh, experience pain together. I think that brings us closer together and uh, I'll see you next time. Stay gold, everybody. Yeah.